Hi everybody, welcome. In today's quick tips, we're gonna be talking about the Tricolor Hoya. These beautiful flowering beauties before you, these have been flowering for what now, maybe a week or so? Oh, at least. Yeah, and this is like the third or fourth time this young lady back here has flowered. And we have another one here. These are these have been at our home in Miami, but when we had all this construction work done, we brought them down to Amy and they are digging it here. So we're gonna go over a little bit on how they you like take care of it. I think <laughs> no, I think that's the case. So you all ready to dig in? Sure. Let's Let go. We're so glad you're joining us today because we're gonna be going over one of my personal favorite houseplants, this beauty before you. And Amy's gonna help out because in the rest of our, our clan of the family here, Amy, what's the botanical name for this plant? It is called folks? Hoya Carnosa, but also has the name of tricolor. And I see a few colors here. Yep. You wanna explain the tricolor name? Yep, like Rachel's showing here, you can see that there's like this creamy color and it has like, this has a pink hue, pink tendrils here, which are absolutely stunning, and green and white. So you have the green, the pink, and the white, the tricolor you know, nomenclature. And a lot of variations. Yes, yeah? yes. Yep. And it also has some other common names. What are those? Wax plant and porcelain flower. And I'm sure you're gonna explain the porcelain flower. Yes, because one of us, Amy, broke one of the flowers. Do I look like the big flowers, or does he? <laughs> I am not. Well, alle okay. allegedly it was me, but so we have this poor little guy who broke off. And if you look at her, it looks fake, like like it's a piece of porcelain made made in an art gallery. Yeah, it looks and, like a button you buy at the store. Yeah, you put it, on yeah. Your, it your just clothes. doesn't look yeah. real. And that's the name that they, they've come up uh, for the common name, uh, porcelain flower. I so, thought you were going to say it's porcelain because it broke easily. That, that, and that's a good point too, Rachel, because that's exactly what happened with us. And maybe we can now use that as a way to call, call her in her common name. So again, to summarize, botanical name, Hoya Carnosa Tricolor, and the common name is Hoya Tricolor, Wax Plant, or Porcelain Flower. And now moving on to the plant type. Stephanie, what type of plant is this? Succulent so vine with thick, waxy leaves. Exactly. And it leaves a stunning tricolor variation, especially the green, white, and pink. Yes. So these will get a little bit brighter with light when you give them more light, but it's like we just Definitely mentioned. Definitely can tell they're waxy. Yeah. And they have this, just this beautiful tricolor look to them. And the, and the next thing is just the one I really want to talk about. And this is going over to Rachel. So Rachel, does this plant produce flowers by any chance? I don't know. Only the most beautiful flowers I've ever seen. Right? These are so adorable, you guys. They oh. produce clusters of star-shaped flowers. Yep. Very pretty. Yes. And it looks gorgeous in a little cluster. Yeah. yeah. It's like and a it, little bouquet. Exactly. It's, yes. And it is pink with a darker burgundy center. Mm-hmm. And what does it smell like? It has actually like a, a, a honey and chocolate scent to it. It's soft, but it um, it has that wonderful scent to the plant as well. It's not very strong like a gardenia or anything outside, but it also has that feature, which is just amazing for that plant or that characteristic. Yes. And the good thing is you can enjoy these blooms throughout the year, uh, more likely with bright light. Yeah, it's they flower mostly in the spring and summer. They can bloom later in the season. And we'll get into more things about that when we talk about plant care. But I want to talk a little bit more about the plant's average mature size. Who's going to take that? Uh, I that will 80? take that. Uh -huh. And the height can be actually several feet. Right. This particular one, we usually have it up here yeah. and it's all the way to the ground now. So it's yeah. it's getting pretty six, long. That's six feet, six, probably six feet. Four, six, three and a half. So yeah, yeah, that's about six, seven feet now. It's like yeah. a whole Uncle Mike size. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the spread depends on how you train it, right? And the, right. the area that you it has to grow, mm -hmm. and you know the cascading of it, you know, will just spread down along uh, the area that it yeah. occupies. Yeah, I mean, you can also put these in a hanging basket, and, and they'll they'll do fine. Um, growing in a hanging basket, they'll actually do very, very well. Or you can have them in a in a container like ours on a shelf and let them cascade down. So where, where's this plant from, Steph? It's native to Eastern Asia and Australia. Mm -hmm. What are some of the fun facts about this plant and plant hacks? Okay, there 
epiphytes, mm -hmm. which means it's a fancy word for saying that it can absorb moisture from the air. Yeah, I like to be attached and grow on to Kind of like my hair. <laughs> <laughs> and they can be grown outdoors in zones 10 to 11. Correct. South Florida. Yeah, they but, are cold sensitive, so you can't have them further north Florida. They'll, they'll suffer and die back. Yeah. But remember, don't remove the flower stalks after blooming. Yes, very important. You want to leave when these fall off or break off in our case when they're done they're, this peduncle will stay on the stem of the vine leave it alone don't don't trim it or anything because it, she's going to flower from these again and again and again they always will flower from their peduncles and then they put on new peduncles over time and then you get more and more flowers which is really really cool how do you say peduncle with a straight face <laughs> i'm your uncle rhymes with peduncle so <laughs> That's right. Now we're going to go on to what? Detailed plant care instructions. That's so right. This is Amy's baby. So let's talk about lighting, Amy. Okay. So bright, indirect light yep. is good. Yep. Somewhere around 200 to 500 foot candles yes. is what they, it will light. They will do very well with that. But if you give her more light, up to, they can, she's very adaptable from going below 200. She just won't flower probably at all below 200. But going north of 500, to a thousand, you'll probably get a lot more flowering out of her. So depending on where you put it in your home is how you can see how your plant will develop flowers over time. So increasing the lighting to the higher end, she'll do better. Right. And this plant is very adaptable that way. She's not picky where yeah. you place her. And you can put her in the direct morning sunlight, mm -hmm. but you would want to avoid extended periods of low light because like you said, right. it's not going to flower. It's not its favorite. Thing. environment right. yes mm -hmm. so what would you say on soil what type of soil is best for this one so six parts of well-drained indoor potting mix mm -hmm. is ideal mm -hmm. and six. one part of cactus or orchid bark because yep. you want That's it to one drain part of that. Yeah, and so one part of perlite right. again helping to drain right um, one part worm casting and you mix that all together and you're going to get this real nice loamy mix for soil grown this young lady is grown in Lecha, which is a semi-hydroponic. That's a totally different way of growing uh, the, the Hoya tricolor. And we, we've grown both of ours in, in both semi-hydroponic or in soil. So that's the soil way. And then you can also grow grow these young ladies in Lecha, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. The plants, the epiphyte does just really, really well with that. So now that we talked about soil, we have some more things to go over. What is that we're going on? The here? next is watering, it's watering. right? Which so. is every seven to 10 days, which works for me because <laughs> it takes me so long to water all the plants now. Yes. But yes, and I think over watering, it's not its favorite. That's why we have that well drainage mm -hmm. type of mix of yeah. soil. And then for our Lekka grown, you only need to water this every once a month because the water sits down here in the bottom of the cash flow because this is a semi hydroponic and it's even less watering. And it's a, you know, it's a little bit different on that, but on the soil, you want to do seven to 10 days. Mm -hmm. And then in the winter, you want to reduce the watering. Yeah, more like 12 days or so for, for watering when they're not it, going through the growth cycle. So it's not, it's there. their kind of sleepy period? Yeah, and they're not putting on much growth, so they're not using a lot of the water, so you don't want to get the water, to, you don't want to get the soil too soggy, so you can throttle back a little bit, yeah. And now what about, what do we have, temperature and humidity? Yes, mm -hmm. 65 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit oh, is, is ideal. Door. So outside in the Florida summer sun, probably not great. Yeah. Indirect or like you said, you know, we mentioned the morning sun is fine, but I think, right. you know, in some areas it gets a little warm. So you have to make sure it has some park shade or not that direct beastly sun and of course <laughs> beastly sun for sure. well, it's <laughs> it's up <Florida. laughs> the plant likes the temperature you like yeah and the humidity 40 to 60 percent right so that works well inside as well yeah 40 is typically for a home and then mm -hmm. if you don't run the ac it's going to run higher which is plant typically will, will like a little bit more and on fertilizer this one's is important as well what do we have for fertilizer, Amy? We would like a liquid fertilizer or 20-20-20 diluted at half strength mm -hmm. during the growing season, yes. which is spring and summer. Right. And then the Bloom Buster fertilizer, because we like our blooms, would right. be a 10 30 20 yeah. mix. Like Jack's mix one. Yeah. Which has a higher phosphorus content. And that and, helps push out the blooms. Yep. And which is great, which is particularly right now in the springtime. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, which is what we want to do. 
And now we have one more thing that we want to make sure people are aware of. And this plant does have a kryptonite and it is, Stephanie, can we talk about that? What is What are the things we have to be aware of when we're maintaining this beautiful, beautiful vine? Pests, mealybugs, spider mites, scale. Inspect ready and treat early. Yep, you want to inspect regularly and treat early if you see them. Mostly mealybugs. Kryptonite for this plant is mealybugs. We've done videos to this several times where our grandmother out there got hammered by it and we were able to do a, a remedy of, to take care of her and we haven't had any any issues since but mealybugs do do love Hoyas and you do have to be careful and we'll leave you some instructions on how you can take care of them. Neem oil does that or you can also do it with alcohol and a cotton swab and you take care of them that way. And then disease, root rot. Yeah and that's when overwatering what we're talking about mm -hmm. in wintertime you want to hold back on the water so you don't develop any root rot. In semi-hydroponic, there's a lot of airflow because so there's, there's so much moisture in here at the base, it doesn't really create a problem for the plant, so it's so it's not an issue in, in that regard. But in soil, you don't want it to be soggy because it can cause uh, root rot. And with that, I think we crush this quick tips. What do you guys think? I think it's a great plant and you should try it. Yes. I always yes. think I do yeah. great. Oh yeah? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna leave you some information so and some you know quick tip information so you can have this for you and we also have other videos that we've done on this plan we just love sharing this with you and until the next video bye, bye. please remember to like subscribe and hit the notification bell and tell your friends and family we post videos weekly thanks